So I've seen some people that asked me, and I got a couple messages on this, um, how to install the Unify controller software on a Linux installation. It's just as easy as Windows, uh, but there's a one or two different steps because it's Linux. But we'll go ahead and show you how to do it real quick here. Uh, go ahead and hit the download. We're going to agree. And well, now we could download the file here. We could install it, but I will do it from the command line. So we're gonna copy the URL there. And someone's like, I know you shouldn't copy out of, uh, from a website to a terminal, but we'll do it for this because I trust the Unify site. Uh, we're gonna W get the file. Press enter, it downloads it. So do dpackage-i for install and unify system. Put in your password and it actually is going to fail and that's fine because you're gonna see what happens here. Errors encountered while processing. Now, what you do to finish this, and this is the way uh, Debian-based systems work, so we're gonna do sudo apt get install-f. And what happens is it goes, hey, I'm missing this dependency, I'm missing that dependency. Dash F means finish installing, or if I believe force, and install all the missing dependencies from the last package it failed. So when we do this, it's going to finish installing all of these dependencies, which includes the MongoDB and a couple other uh, things that it needs to run. Uh, open, J, uh, open JDK 8 RE, uh, GRE headless. That's because this is based off of running uh, Java. So it goes and finishes setting up the uh, dependencies needed for the Unify system. And once it gets to the end of the dependencies, then it finishes installing the Unify software and sets it to by default auto start, which is nice. Setting up the Unify, created and done. Now you can log in just like normal and uh, we're gonna, let's we'll see what's the IP address of this computer is. Uh... So now we can take this uh, 192.168.1.101, pop it in the browser and we can run the setup wizard. And from there you can follow my other tutorial for actually setting all this up. So it's really easy to install on Linux. Well, I did it as a uh, headless install, which is generally the preferred way because you're probably gonna be doing this either at a remote virtual server or a physical server uh, or physical server at your office. And generally this is something you wanna install headless. You don't really need the uh, graphical interface to operate this. I just chose because I had a spun up virtual machine of a graphical install of Ubuntu to do it. But like I said, this works on the headless ones just as well. So thanks for watching. Quick video, but it's uh, the Unify made it really easy to install on uh, Debian-based Linux systems. Uh, just a few clicks and you're done. If you like the content here, like and subscribe. Thank you.